Greetings everybody, my name is Specialist, and I've got another video for you guys. This is actually not going to be on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, this is on Crisis 2. I'm not sure if you guys have played this game yet, but definitely a cool game. And I could say it's maybe a mixture for, um, or a mixture of the games Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, and maybe a little Homefront. Not sure if you guys played Homefront, but I can kind of see it. Um... This game isn't brand new, it was released uh, last year sometime, and I played the beta, but recently, just as of a couple days ago, I picked it up with my friend Dylan, what's up Dill, and um, you know, me and him are the only people that have it in my friends right now, but trying to get some of them to get it, and trying to get some of you guys that are hopefully watching this to get the game, uh, give it a try, it's super fucking sweet, and like I said, it's like Call of Duty, so if you guys are into Call of Duty, or somewhat halo um definitely get it because it's uh I, um i don't know it has the pace of call of duty almost but it has like a lot of characteristics of battlefield and halo like halo health kind of maybe um and the movement is a lot like battlefield and just the feeling and the pace and just the intensity is like call of duty so it's all pretty much wrapped up into one game Okay, well I can tell you a little bit about um, what is in this game and what you can do for the multiplayer. And um, there is a, also a campaign, but I have not played it, or yeah, I have currently have not played it at all. And um, not quite sure what it's about. Maybe I could post up a video on a mission or two, see and see what that's about and tell you guys what it's about. But um, I'm not that high of a rank on multiplayer either. As of this match, I may be like a level 9 or something, but... Now that I'm making this video, I think I'm probably around a 15, or something like that. And, boom. I get killed by a grenade. <laughs> also, to tell you guys, this is uh, gameplay is not that good of a gameplay. I mean, I go 10 and 2, and um, usually my average game now is around, like, 20-something and 10, or maybe even lower than that. Anyway, I'll tell you about some character characteristics, sorry, about the multiplayer, and what you can do, and customize and stuff. Um, the customization with the classes is pretty, uh, sweet. You can, um, change your gun. There's submachine guns. I think there's, like, two submachine guns. And then three assault rifles, two snipers, uh, four pistols. There's a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if there's downloadable content for different guns or anything or maps. I'm pretty sure there's new maps, but, um, since I got it a couple days ago, I have not really got that much into it. Anyway, you can, um change your guns and then change like attachment on your guns like either reflex sight which kind of like is a holographic from call of duty and um and there's also like an ace acog scope i'm not sure what it's called in this game but um then there's other things like maybe noob tubes and i know there's like this hologram thing if you got like the limited edition version of this game and um extended mags uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm currently using right now. I may be using extend mags. And, as you can see, I also do have a, like a red laser. That's like an attachment. And it really helps for hip firing. Because if you don't have that, hip firing is basically impossible in this game. Anyway, um, there are like, uh, perks or, yeah, they're like, kind of like perks or maybe like armor ability kind of things in this. It's like... I don't know, I have one, or I have three on right now, and one of them's like enhanced aiming, so obviously you guys know what that is, you can aim better when you're looking down the sights, and there's also like, I don't know, armor, like when you put your armor on, which you can do by pressing LB, it's a little bit stronger, and it, or it doesn't like, um, take as much energy, so definitely customization with classes is a big deal in this game. And I can also move on to talking about what you have like in game right now. If you press LB, you do get armor. It uh, makes you take maybe twice as much as the like twice as many bullets. Um, maybe not even that. But um, RB, if you press RB, I really recommend. Um, I don't even know the word. Recommend <laughs> using RB because it makes you throw a cloak up, which is uh, invisibility and. That really rocks, especially if you're not like moving, if you're kind of standing still, then it's really hard to see you, and definitely something to use all the time, and I don't know if you guys been paying attention, but right there, actually right there, I just put it up, and it's, um, I put it up every time I think there's a guy near to me, and 
I don't know, really helpful, definitely. So, this game's almost uh, coming to a conclusion, so I would like to thank you guys for watching this. I will be posting up a little bit more videos on Crisis 2. Hope you guys pick it up from the store. It's uh, I got this pre-owned for like 20 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. Hopefully you guys definitely enjoyed this video. And um, subscribe. Please subscribe. Trying to get some subscribers. And comment. Um, and like maybe. I don't really care. But I will see you guys later. And have a good day.